Just think about the Apostle Paul. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, we're going to start reading in verse number 23. The Bible says, Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors, more abundant. Did Paul, was Paul a hard worker? You better believe he's a hard worker. The Bible says that you know, he went to these places. He went to the church of Thessalonica, and he didn't take any money from that church at all because he was trying to show them, especially the people who were, who were guilty of not working at all, that you know what? You could serve God, and you could provide for yourself 100%. You can, you can work hard. You can work day and night. You, know, you, could, you could do a day job. You could still serve the Lord. You could still preach the gospel. You can get it all done. You just have to work real hard at it. It's labor. It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you your time, but you're going you know, to have to do it. And you know what? He did that. He was a great example under the believers. This is how you do it. You're going to roll up my sleeves. I'm going to get to work, and I'm also going to minister unto you, and I'm going to spend and be spent for you. That's the, way, the heart and the attitude of the Apostle Paul. He had lots of labors. Labor is more abundant. He labored more. And, and this is, you know, he's kind of comparing himself to people who are trying to, to prop themselves up as being somebody. Right, because they're bringing the Apostle Paul down, and he's trying to remind them of all the things that he's gone through. He says, "In stripes above measure." What's a stripe? A stripe is a wit from a beating. Stripe is is a is literally a stripe of blood that you receive from being whipped, from being beaten. He's like above measure. I can't even count how many stripes I've received. In stripes above measure. In prisons more frequent. In deaths. Oh, that was you know. That always just stands out to me. In you know, he's like, I've died. And yeah, God's brought him back. Right? So he, got, he was able to do his work. In death's off, not like even just one time. He's like, this is a common thing. Look, I'm, I'm facing so much persecution. I'm getting thrown into jail. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I've got these stripes and I'm dying. Yeah, I still get up and keep going. I mean, I'm, I don't know what it would feel like to die because I've never died before. <laughs> but... I can't imagine it feels good. It's probably not one of those pleasant things that have happened to you, right? Have someone stone you with stones to the point of death, and then, you know, God miraculously brings you back to life, and then like, all right, well, let's, let's keep going. Let's, let's, let's keep working at it, okay? This is the Apostle Paul. But that's one verse. He keeps going on here. Look at verse number 24. Of the Jews, five times received I 40 stripes, save one. I, I believe this is in addition to the other stripes that he was receiving. He's like, he, you know, that was above measure. This time, the Jews, they whipped me five times with 40 stripes. Save one, 39 stripes every single time. 39 lashes five times. Verse number 25, thrice was I beaten with rods. I don't want to get beaten with rods one time. He's beaten with rods three times. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. And, you know, I don't want to get too, you know, too far into this. But when you read these verses, just try to put yourself in the situations. Being a night and a day, just, just like shipwreck, floating in the water. What would happen to your body? Just, just how, you know, soft your skin gets and, you know, if there's salt water or whatever. Just, just how much that, how terrible that would be to endure something like that. This is just one thing on this list. And these are all these trials and persecutions and tribulations that he suffered because he's doing the work of the Lord. So this isn't just he's on vacation and something bad happened to him. No, these are, these are all things he's listing as being a servant of Christ that have happened to him along the way through the fight. He's dealt with all of these various things. Verse number um, 26, in journeyings often, so he's always on the road, he's traveling in perils of waters and perils of robbers in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. He's like, basically, there's this danger. It's dangerous everywhere he's going. It doesn't matter if he's around his own people. It doesn't matter if he's in a foreign city. It doesn't matter if he's in the sea. It doesn't matter if it's the heathen. You know, he's always just facing danger. Verse 27, in weariness and painfulness. And he's talking about physically. I mean, he's being, he's just tired. He's, he's going through this. He's getting worn out and he's, he's experiencing pain in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. These are all of these external things that are coming upon him as he's serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And then verse 28 says, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. 
It's not an easy job to take care of all these churches. What he was doing, he was traveling around, he was preaching the gospel, he was helping churches get planted and started up. And then on top of that, he's caring for these people. He's writing letters to them. He's praying for them. You know, he's thinking about them. He's, he's circling back around and traveling and trying to encourage them and teach them and minister unto all these churches. I'm doing all this stuff. That's a weariness. That's also something that's, that's not easy to do. Verse 29, he says, who is weak? And I am not weak. You want to complain to me and tell me about how hard it is and how hard your life is? You think I'm not weak? Who is offended and I burn not? He says, if I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern mine infirmities. But all of these things he's listing, though, even though they're not easy, even though it's hard, he's saying, look, I've been through all these things. God's the one who gets the credit for bringing me through this. But when, when you're worried about, if you're thinking about how hard your life is and how hard the Christian life is, look at what the Apostle Paul went through. I don't think there's anybody here today that's probably going to face these things in your Christian life, in your Christian walk. Probably not. Probably not mine. I think we got it really easy, especially in the climate that we still have today. Yes, things are going worse, but it's still very easy to serve God in the United States of America. And unfortunately, people have gotten too soft into not doing more to serve God, especially when it's so easy to do, when you really don't face the amount of tribulation and persecution that the Apostle Paul had to face. We're not being arrested and whipped and stoned and beaten the way that the Apostle Paul was, the way that the Jews hated Christ then and were able to do these things unto him, the power that they had to do all that stuff. We don't, they, we don't have to worry about those types of things today. 